Karibuni sana kwa share leo. This is Teens and Told with me, Auntie Maj. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you so much for your continued support. You appreciate from the bottom of our hearts. Tuendele kuwatch show, tuendele kusubscribe, ku like, na definitely ku comment. Ni muhimu, zinatsaidia ku change and they make us better people. We are happy. It's another day and another show. And you are privileged not only to have a teen, but a teen who is also a mom. So, nakaribisha kwa show, natuambi jina yake. Karibu sana. Kwa majina naituwa Mary Maya Nyambula Muradi. Na niko, nafraya kuwa hapa. Karibu sana Mary. Nimefraya sana kuwa hapa na kukubali wito. Ndo at least uweze kukua na mazungumza. Na pia uweze kuangalesha teens wengine, at least to empower them, sindio, yeah. na kueleza kuhusu story yako. Before tuanze, ningependa utuambie like, ufupi nini hasa ungependa tujue kukuhusu wewe? Kwanza natako mjue, I have one daughter, uh -huh. with oh, one year, four month, uh -huh. and I love her uh, so much. Okay, mm. asanti sana. Mm. So you want people to know that you're a teen and a mom yeah. at the same time. Yeah. Wow, that is so nice. And ni vizuri yata kukua na courage, ya kuwa hapa, sindio? Yeah. Kukuza kwa show, ndo tukue na mazungumza pamoja, sindio? Mm. So, kwanza, ningependa utueleze. I know that you're a teen. Kuliendaje mbaka sasa ikafikia, uka, uka, you became a mom. First of all, mm. when you nilianza, mm -hmm. nili patana na baba mtoto tukua college, mm -hmm. nilikuwa na somea beauty. Mm -hmm. Then, tuka, tuka soma kama two month, mm -hmm. then I could discuss and attack her to get married to, with her. Mm -hmm. Then, after that, tuka kaka for two weeks. Then kapata ball, nikamwambia then aka when aka jump. When yali iduka, mm -hmm. said, nikona life yangu iko so hard with mm -hmm. with pregnant. Mm -hmm. Nikuwa ni nimeamua ku kutoa yao mimba but kitu ika kuja kanambia stop. Mhm. Mm Mimi mtoto anaweza kuja kuwa kielezo kwa wengine. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so bado muli kwa shule, yeah. mkisoma, akasema nataka kuwa leo, anataka muwane, yeah. hauku ha, ha na tatizo lolote pengine na meaka bado kwa shule, ama ye akimanisha kumuwane, alikuwa na manisha nini haswa, like nao muko shule, bado muko chini ya wazazi, sindio, si, mkiu wa shule kumanisha mnalipu wa hadi school fees na wazazi, yeah. sindio, yeah. haikuwa na tachizo lolote, ama alikuwa mana, ye mwenyewe alikuwa na manisha nini haswa kisema nataka mwane. Alikuwa na manisha, atanyona, then tutoke uku, tuende kwenye, kwenye naishi, mm -hmm. then wene, ni tulikana ye, after kumaliza shule, Nikakaka, nikamwambia nika nikona nini yake mwimba, aka, aka jump. Then after that, akaenda, nikampigia simu, no mi, hachukui, ha, ha, hata respond my na, nini phone. Nika, nika give up, nikona kama life yangu imeisha hapo. Then after that, watu wa itu, ma friends zangu, familia wakantenga. Mm -hmm. Then, kuna moja tu alisimama na mimi, my dad. Mm -hmm. My dad ni ya alinipea in college, ya kaniambia, hata kama nimepata miba na mwenye ali, alinipea, hataki kukana na mimi. Atakana mimi, mpaka toto akue, hata akizariwa, tutakana ya ye. Mm -hmm. Then, kisuke, venye, hata Mtoto, seven, nine months ikiwa kalibia, my mom tiwa huyo hameenda kunidatia visanga zingina na niambia timto hii ni wa my dad, nimelana na my dad. Then, nika, 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 loho, loho ikaisha guvu, mi nika, nika give up kabisa. Nikona nikama nimetengwa, lakini the only things na izasema 
my dad had his mama na mimi. Mm -hmm. My relative walikuwa wamenichukia, my friend wamenichukia, wamenitenga kila kitu. Mm -hmm. Then me nika ni siku ya kupata mtoto ni kuna church moja inaitwa PC Angel Emuni. Women Guild walikuja kanis visit wakanisaidia niko na azin si jaachwa ni nyuma watu wengine wana wana feel kunisaidia hapo ndio nilipata in college sana na nikakuwa na hope nikaisha nikasema hii maisha hii maisha si si ya ku give up ni ya ku encourage wengine kama wenye sasa hivi kuna mwingine sasa hivi akona mtoto na ko 17 years hapo kwetu na alipata juzi lakini na, na, nitasema hivi wenye akona watoto wakiwa teens was give up hata kama wametengwa na malafiki na wazazi was give up mimi na John tawaambia mimi hivyo okay mm. thank you so much hata kukuwa na courage ya kuongea kuhusu life yako venye umekuwa ukienda hadi mahali umeyafikia mm. tunasikia kwamba umetupitia changamoto mingi za kutengwa na familia marafiki hata mamako mzazi ambaye pengine anakuwaza vibaya Lakini la muhimu ni kwamba at least ulipata babako ambaye alisimama na wewe la pili kwaomba uli make decision mzuri ya ku maintain mtoto wako si ndio pengine kuna wengi ambao wako huko nje ya wamepitia the same process lakini wakaamua kufanya nini kutoa unaona lakini wewe uliamua uka, uka maintain hiyo mimba ukalea mtoto wako si ndio na out of that hata baraka kutoka mbinguni Mungu anakubariki na pia unaweza kusimama na wengine so, so, so thank you so much kushe hiyo yote nimefurahia so uh, wakati baba mtoto aliamua atoke aende kuna pengine ulijaribu kutumia wazazi ama kuwafikia ama mtu yoyote pengine alikuwa ame introduce kwa mtu yoyote Hakuwa mniti ondisi kwa wazazi wao hata mtu wao. Mm -hmm. Ni venye tu dadake alijua tu kona usiano na ye. Mm -hmm. Uyo ni venye. Uh, then alikuja kuni visit nikiwa na nikipata mtu yuko bagathe. Mm -hmm. Lakini saisi muonangi hata. Saisi na mtu wakusaidi hata wa relative yake na mm -hmm. baba mtoto. Mm -hmm. mm. Kwa hivyo wakuna hata dada yake mwenye alikuja haku wae reach out tena. Kwa hivyo wakuna usiano wote kati yako na yule kijana. Mm -hmm. So, wewe ukiwa kama teen, ungependa kuambia aje teens wenzako. Wenye pengine, sahi, mm -hmm. wako huko inje. Na kuna kijana wako mahali, anawambia the same thing yenye uliambiwa. Like, hapa kuna kijana mwenye anamuambia pana nataka kukuwa, nataka kukuwa. Uneeza kuwa, kuwa advice vipi? Mimi tawa advice, mm -hmm. mkipatana na kijana ya yote. Kwanza msome, umsome ya vizuri venya kivi, yake inenda. Na usitikia ati, ni kuambio tu na kijana, nataka kukuwa, usitikia pap. Mm -hmm. una unamwambia ugo, ugoje agoje kidogo kwanza uh, ni, ni uh, ufikilie kama sio hivyo mwachane na yetu tari kabisa ndio mm -hmm. nitamwambia okay first asikimbilie mm -hmm. wana take time mm -hmm. kwanza mjuane hata kwenda kwa wazazi yeah. si ndio kama yeah. mtu kabisa kwa siri anataka muawane na kama bado uko shule unaweza kuambia aje kama uko shule Wachane na relationship na vijana. Kwanza education first. Mm -hmm. yeah. Kwa hivyo mtu asome kwanza. Yeah. Maneno ya mapenzi, ayeke kando. Yeah. Mapenzi wakati wa mapenzi utafika. Yeah. Na watu watawana mapenzi ya kuna maali na inaenda. Yeah. Haya. Hiyo ni vizuri. Nilikuwa nataka. At least ueleze hivyo ndo. Uelewe hiyo part. Sasa hapa kwa marafiki. Kuna wenye wamekuwa pengine wakikutreat vizuri ama wote hakuna mtu mwenye alikutaka karibu na wewe Kuna rafiki yangu mmoja hata ndiseme sita isao na yeye alinishikilia mpaka wa leo pia ni yeye ananisaidianga Ni hapo kwetu nampenda lakini ako na watoto wawili mmoja kwa class 8 na mwingine mm. ni kadogo kama mtoto wangu Huyo okay. Na, na mpenda sana hata ananipenga uh, advice okay mm. ah hiyo ni mzuri angalau kuna mtu ambaye anakushikilia at mm. least mnatembea na yeye mnyana anako encourage now how does it feel 
kukua like a teen na uko na mtoto kuna changamoto zozote zenye zinaambatana na kuwa like that now you're young and you're a mom at the same time changamoto ni kuwa kwanza sai kazi ni ngumu upate na mtoto anahitaji chakula pampas nguo hizo mingi sana zenye anahitaji ni mm -hmm. ngumu sana hizo ndio changamoto yangu nitasema hivi mm -hmm. hata uh, uko na mimi naonanga changamoto mingi hata sometimes hata nakaanga chini na juliza god kwani uliniletea hii mateso ya kukua na hii na huyu mtoto then nasema nita nita nitajipea college nitatafuta nita kazi niwe niweze kulisha huyu mtoto wangu mhm mm mm. ah so unamaanisha wakati ulipata mtoto masomo ilibidi uweke kando yeah. au kuweza kuendelea na masomo tena yeah. sasa ikabidi uanze kulea na sasa nikuta kutafuta kazi na sio rahisi kwa sababu ya mahitaji ya mtoto. So unaweza taka kuwaelezaje wasichana wenye wako huko nje like ikikuja ni motherhood na wakati uko mdogo and the fact that you're a single parent. Unaweza taka kuongelesha teens huko nje uambie aje kuhusiana na hilo jambo like being a teenager and a mom at the same time and the changamoto zenye zinaambatana na hiyo yote. Hmm, kwa mama ni yes ni vizuri but kuna changamoto zenye mtu anapitia. Ta teens kama mimi ni mimi teen na, na ni mama. Mwenye, wako hapo nje nitawaambia hivi. Mkuwe na courage mingi hata kama mnaona so difficult things then zenye zina happen kama uko mama na hauna job kwa kwa courage unaweza unaweza kaa chini na no, ujongeshe no useme nitakuwa na courage na nitafuta job nilishe huyu mtoto wangu mm -hmm. yes john tu nitawaambia mimi okay na mwenye sasa hajafika hapo ungependa kumweleza vipi mtu mwenye sasa hajafikia hapo kukuwa like anafika atikupata mtoto na yeye ni teenager unaweza weleza nini nini unaweza taka wajue haswa mimi nitawaambia when kama sasa wenye hawana watoto wasi azini wasikimbilie kwa kwa teens then kwa mama si kukimbia ati unataka sababu unaona mwingine kwa na ma, mtoto na nilika hapo sio kukimbilie ati upate mtoto kwanza maliza shule then hata mimi nasemanga kama si kupata mtoto ningetaka kwenda shule na nimalize venye Kenya na ni achieve Kenya nilikuwa nataka mi then nitawaambia hivi msi msijitenge msijichanganye kwa my design wa timkimbilie kwa mama kwa mama yes ni vizuri lakini kulea ni hard kama saa hii saa hii mama anatafuta kibarua afue ngo the, kama utapata una, mtoto wako anaweza kaa hivyo kama una chakula una nini na huna mtu wa kukusaidia utafanya nini mm hivyo -hmm. unawaambia wa hold on mm. wasikimbilie maneno yeah. it is not easy to be a teen and a mom at the same time yeah. it is hard juu kuna mahitaji mingi ambayo ina kuja pamoja na kupata huyo mtoto and pia lazima ule mtoto si anakuhitaji pia umshikilie na usonge naye na pia wewe you are still young unahitaji kushikiliwa so here it's somebody who is young who needs to be kushikiliwa kusapotiwa kufanywa kila kitu alafu sasa amepata mtoto mtoto ambaye ana anamtegemea so la muhimu ni mtu aji protect mtu asikimbilie lolote a make sure anasoma kwanza masomo ndiyo muhimu so mtu asome a make sure ameenda shule kila kitu iko sawa hii kitu kingine ya mapenzi ifanye nini ikuje ikuje baadaye kuna is there anything unaweza sema out of being a mom mapema kuna advantage yoyote unaweza sema like you to say manga everything has its own advantage and disadvantage kuna advantage yoyote unaweza point out useme like the only thing mzuri nimeona like to be a mom mapema ni hii ni mimi nitasema kanya nimeona kuwa mama ni kama mimi si kusoma mtoto wangu ataachivu kenye nilikuwa nataka kuachivu
So uta struggle kitu yenye umelearn ni ati like now that how to achieve wewe mwenyewe kusoma at least ikifika ni kwa mtoto wako utamnacha in a way that itakusaidia kumpush until i achieve that what you did not achieve yourself yeah ah that's nice so nimefurahia sana kusikia hiyo and i'm so happy that you came today thank here you to empower teenagers out there and at least for them also to learn something out of your experience you have gone through a lot in your life but i want you to understand that there's still hope and it is never too late we only say it is late when somebody dies but as long as you're still alive it doesn't matter situation yenye uko miaka haimati like mtoto wa kiguru hata ukitaka kurudi shule jio ndio passion yako umesema unaweza taka hata kuendelea kusoma you can still achieve that because it is not late all is not lost sawa sawa so i want you to know that there is hope you can still achieve anything that you'd want to achieve in life your goals your everything na usimame na mtoto wako aendelee until afanye nini akuwe mkubwa so don't lose hope and of course uendelee to encourage wengine huko nje usimame na wao at least you have been there umepitia na unajua changamoto zote so ukipata pia tin mwingine mwenye ana struggle na huko unaweza mshikilia na pia fanya nini umpe encouragement and i'm so happy that you have really encouraged yourself no mengangana and you've been working so hard to make sure at least mtoto hakosi and at least you have a couple of people when you are jitolea wanasimama na wewe wanatembea na wewe and i'm sure you you do so well na utaendelea na utaendelea vizuri Tuki conclude nataka uangalie ile kamera uangaleshe things uambie ni nini unaweza taka haswa kuacha nayo ile mtu ajue like this is what like i need to stand with when i'm out there Naweza sema how things when up in je mimi nitawaambia hivi nitawa advice hivi maisha si ni maisha si laisi lakini mkuwe na encourage kwa nyinyi ndio watu wa kesho na wenye wako shule mjitahidi sana nilivomsaidia wazazi wenu wenye wako nyumbani thank you so much for that and i'm so happy kukuwa na wewe hapa nimeshukuru sana and i'm so blessed to have you and you're blessed to na utaenda mbali sawa sawa just have faith in god and be strong so, so. Mm. thank you so much for coming okay. so our viewers that is all for today thank you so much for being with us this is teens untold until next time same place for hereni family Wema TV The Voice of Hope